I'll make the first bid, Mike. Don't worry about it. Well, the summer concert season is upon us, and here to tell us what we can look forward to is DJ Anchor from Wire 96.3. Welcome to the show. How are you doing on Monday? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing all right. You've got some good news to tell me about Usher's doing something fantastic in his concert. Now, the last time I went to an Usher concert, <laughs> he stepped out of his pants. And for some of the concert goers, that was considered special. What is he doing this time? You kept your pants on, though, My right? pants are on, but he did walk out of his. So the whole hologram thing is kind of blown up since Coachella, oh. so he's trying to take it above and beyond that. Of course. He's letting listeners interact, and there's going to be a big kind of LED video wall behind him at the concert, and people can tweet real-time requests, even create little mini avatars of themselves, of them dancing along to these Usher songs. But they can't actually write something. Nothing that they write is going to show up on that screen. Yes. But that could be dangerous. So many things that could be written, DJ Anchor. <laughs> I got a feeling it'll be censored before it goes live on the wall. But if it's not, we have some, some will you marry me kind of things <laughs> happen in that's order. That's mild. That's putting it mild. <laughs> it could be a lot of, his Usher fans are very, very passionate. Yes. Women. All right, well, let's talk about Cheryl Crow. The news came out last week that she has a brain tumor. And um, do you know any more information about that? Well, she had cancer back in 2006. She mm -hmm. beat it, and she basically is saying, I'm going to beat this too. Uh, she's had further tests. It is benign. And she says, I'm just going to keep rocking on. She doesn't even care. Loves music too much. She's not, I'm not even going to worry about it. You so. know what's really interesting? I actually saw some uh, concert footage of her, and she couldn't remember the words that, like, her top 10 hits that she'd sung a million times and she said that's what she knew something was wrong so it's very interesting actually to see that video where she didn't know anything she couldn't remember one single word and actually speaking of cancer um tommy chong yeah just announced on the weekend that he has prostate cancer they're just regular people like us i guess right yes all right, well, let's talk about the iTunes Top 5 Country. Yeah, let's throw it up there. We got Luke Bryan. He's been doing it for a while now. Ladies love him. Drunk on You is a big hit right now. Mm -hmm. Eric Church, uh, Springsteen, Kit Moore, something about a truck. B basically, like, total Saskatchewan songs, like Summertime, Windows Down, Feel Good kind of tunes. Uh, Kenny Chesney, Come Over, and Carrie Underwood, Good Girl, who should look absolutely fabulous on the red carpet. When does she not look good? <sighs> she could wear a paper bag and she would look fabulous. She makes Mike Fisher look a lot better, let's just say that. He's a pretty good-looking guy, too. He's got the hockey hair. He's got to get rid of it. Yeah, I like the hockey <laughs> hair. You don't like his hockey hair? I do, because I miss mine, but... Okay, I like his hockey hair. I think it makes him look very manly and studly <laughs> and all athletic and stuff. All right, so there's some June events coming up. What what concerts can we look forward to? Yeah, a couple of electronic DJs. Sack Newell, he has a big uh, track called Look of People, kind of an infectious track. Um, and then uh, this guy who opened up for Dead Mouse when he was here in late December, Porter Robinson. He's like a 19-year-old phenomenal DJ producer. I uh, interviewed him up on my SoundCloud right now. And then kind of something for everyone, Most Deaf, which is going to be crazy. I'm sorry, I just had a little bit of a moment. I was like, ah, I'm so excited about that concert. That's great. And he's kind of like musician now, like actor in all kinds of movies. He was in Italian Job, Dexter, the list goes on and on. On, he does so. everything. He's chief cook and bottle washer, that man. And another one of my favorites. Classic. Brian Adams is going to be in Regina. Yee, that's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. That's on June 21st. Yes. All right. Well, i got to get my tickets because I cannot miss my Brian Adams. Summer's jam-packed full of awesome shows. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank now you. it's time to head over to Mike to take a look at today's weather. What do you have for us, Mike? 